Welcome back, lads and lasses, to the evening news on Berlin Today. Today is November 3rd, 1915, and I hope you're all having a wonderful night. Protests have sparked up in numerous cities by the uneducated college students, but the war in Europe is looking good for our soldiers. We have a war correspondent, Kroner, on the fields right now. Kroner, take it away. Thank you, Heinrich. Things are at an all-time high on the front lines here, with French shells firing all the time. Almost no time for sleep. But we have made good ground since the Battle of Marne, and we are holding strong at Noyon, repelling French advances. I've gotten to speak with a few soldiers about life in the trenches, and oh, here comes one now! Hello, sir. What are you doing here? I'm a war correspondent for the families at home. Anything you wish to tell your mom? Hi, Mom. Don't go into the closet in my room, please, for your sake. Well, how are things out here? Not good, not terrible. The guns are wearing down quite fast, and lack of supplies makes it difficult to live comfortably in the city. I see. Well, things could be worse, couldn't they? Yeah, they certainly could. So do you have anything at home to say for the young men itching to fight for their country? Don't go. So, you have anything to say for the people at home? It's great. Trust me, I'm having a blast. Well, you heard it here first, folks. The war is great, and you should fight in it. Back to you, Heinrich. Thank you, Kroner, for that insightful view into the lives of our brothers on the front line. Clearly, our boys are having a wonderful time fending off those French monsters. We will have a short commercial break, but we'll return very soon with the rest of your regularly timed schedule. Are you bored with your day-to-day -day commute? Does Berlin seem too bland? Well, then you should head to Austria. Visit the Alps. Go see the arts. Try exquisite foods from faraway lands. Discuss with philosophers from all around in Vienna. Visit Austria today. You ask to. It's so stuffy in here, Marlin. Why, of course it is, honey. We don't have an air conditioning. Air conditioning? What's that? You don't know what air conditioning is? No, it sounds expensive. Well, don't worry. We can afford it. It makes the air cooler around the house, and we can pick one up today at the local market. The air conditioner. No home is complete without one. Pick up yours today. And we're back with our regularly timed schedule. War is ravaging and we are winning. Off to the east now against the Russians with our correspondent Alfred. How are you doing today, Alfred? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking, Heimer. I hope you're doing just as great. As you can tell, there's a lot of fighting nearby, but I've got a German soldier here with me. How are you doing today, sir? Cool. Anything else? Yeah. Hungry. Any positive feelings? Hopeful, I guess. Well, what are you hoping for, son? I'll be able to see my wife again. How about you describe your wife to the viewers, young man? Blonde hair. Blue eyes. Well, you just about described every girl in Germany. You must be quite the ladies' man at home. I apologize about that, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have you know that these two men are recovering perfectly fine in one of Germany's best hospitals, being treated by our brightest doctors, of course. On to global news now. Small, not German, backed rebellions in India are happening. Hopefully those succeed and the British imperialism ceases to plague the globe. Other news, Japan has taken numerous colonial islands from us in the Pacific, despite lack of reasoning to do so, of course. Lastly, we have news of American boats trying to ship weaponry to Britain. Luckily, these boats contain exclusively weapons and no civilians whatsoever, and our U-boats are taking swift care of them. This has been our evening news, ladies and gentlemen. We wish to thank our patrons for your support through all these glorious and wonderful times. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. See you all tomorrow.